So this is a paper we published in Leukaemia this year uh, where we looked at patients who had um, a FLT3 mutation at diagnosis and another molecular marker for MID monitoring. So the vast majority were NPM1. There were also some who had core binding factor fusions or MLL fusions or other rare fusions. These patients were tracked with molecular MID in remission and patients who had either a molecular relapse or a molecular progression were treated with a FLT3 inhibitor such as gilteritinib, serafinib or quasartinib. We showed that in that setting the response rates were very high with the FLT3 inhibitors and about 60% of patients had a molecular response defined as a one log reduction in the MID level or MID negativity. And half the patients could be taken from the FLT3 inhibitor to transplant, which is considered to be the curative therapy in this situation. The toxicity when treating in this setting when patients are in hematological remission was much lower and the, the vast majority of patients didn't require hospital admission or transfusions or develop infections. Uh, and we felt that the, the use of an MID directed FLT3 inhibitor strategy was beneficial and we're looking to take that forward into a prospective study using a FLT3 inhibitor potentially with venetoclax for patients with molecular relapse and incorporating the newly established FLT3 ITD MID assay which specifically will detect the FLT3 in the MID setting.